Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a really fun geometry problem. A semicircle is inscribed in a quarter circle as illustrated. What fraction of the quarter circle is shaded in red? I thank Liam from the UK for sending me this problem, which comes from the UK MT. And I admit, I struggled for about 30 minutes before I figured it out. So I suggest you give the problem a serious effort before watching the solution. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how can we solve this problem? Well, sometimes when you're stuck, it helps to set up a goal and then work backwards. So let's set up an equation for the fraction that is shaded. That'll be equal to the area of the semicircle divided by the area of the quarter circle. Now we can write equations for each of these areas if we know the radius of each of these shapes. So let's define some variables. Let Q equal the radius of the quarter circle and then let s equal the radius of the semicircle. Now the area of the semicircle is equal to 0.5 pi s squared, and then the area of the quarter circle will be equal to 0.25 pi q squared. We can cancel out the pi's, and then 0.5 divided by 0.25 is equal to 2. So this simplifies to be 2s squared over q squared. So we want a relationship between the values s squared and q squared, and notice there's no need to solve for s and q because eventually we have to square the values of s and q. So with that said, how can we solve for a relationship between q and s? Well, one thing you can do in geometry problems like this is try and connect interesting points with line segments. What would happen if I connect the center of the semicircle and draw a radius to the tangency of the quarter circle? So what would happen if I drew one of these lines? Since the semicircle is tangent to the quarter circle, this is a right angle, and the line segment will have a value that's equal to the radius of the semicircle, so it's equal to s. Now we can also draw this line segment, which will also be tangent, and it will also have the value of s. Now since the quarter circle is 90 degrees, this is also a right angle, and therefore in this quadrilateral, all of the angles must be right angles, which means this shape defines a square, so all sides are equal to s. Furthermore, the diagonal of this square will be equal to s times the square root of 2, because we have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Now let's continue connecting important points in this diagram. Let's draw a radius of the quarter circle through the center of the semicircle. Now because each of these is a radius of the semicircle, each will be equal to s. Therefore, the radius of this quarter circle bisects the chord of this quarter circle, and therefore these meet at a right angle. Now in the quarter circle, let's draw another radius to where the diameter of the semicircle intersects the quarter circle. Because this is a radius of the quarter circle, its value will be equal to q. Now what we can do is we can notice there's a right triangle here, and we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have s times the square root of 2, that quantity squared, plus s squared is equal to q squared. And this simplifies to be 3s squared is equal to q squared. And that's the relationship we need to solve this problem. So we go back to what we derived before, and now we substitute in that 3s squared is equal to q squared. So we simplify this fraction, 2s squared all over 3s squared, and we get the answer of 2 over 3. And that's the answer. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Please subscribe for free to get the news videos and email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my merchandise, which is listed on Teespring. 
You can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.